Welcome to Overtime with the Oregonian. I'm Jen Burley, joined by Billy Gates, and we're here to recap week three of Oregon high school football. Billy, you were down in Bend on Friday. Tell me about the Summit Ashland game. A uh, game between two top uh, 10 5A teams. Ashland coming number two, Summit at number 10. Uh, Ashland wins 35 14 on the strength of their defense. They force five turnovers, uh, they pick off Quarterback John Bledsoe three times. Uh, in fact, Max Montgomery for Ashland had all three of those interceptions. And they were able to put the ball in the end zone off three of those turnovers, uh, which included the two fumble recoveries that they had as well. But, uh, you know, the the score really didn't dictate how close this game was. Summit hung with Ashland throughout the whole thing. Uh, able to play re really good defense in the second half and hold Ashland just a late touchdown. Um, but uh, again, you know, number two Ashland, you know, their their defense is is good. I mean, they're it's definitely for real. And Kyle Weinberg at quarterback uh, had a great game. Ryan Robitz at running back had rushed for 119 yards um, and a touchdown. So it's not to say that that Summit played bad, but it was just Ashland made the right plays at the right times, especially on defense with Montgomery and those three interceptions. Sounds like Ashland definitely lived up to the hype. Uh, now we're going to talk about our game of the week. It was between Tigard and Sherwood, and it was a highly anticipated matchup. And it lived up to expectations early on when both teams entered the locker room at halftime, tied 14 all. Uh, but Tiger went on to win this one, 49-28, behind a great performance from their quarterback, JT Greeno. He was 12 of 18 passing for 275 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Tiger really shows their physicality and toughness up front. And that opened up big holes for their running back. Uh, their running back, Landon Floyd, rushed for 116 yards and had three touchdowns. So that was a great game. Floyd's a great back, too. He's, <laughs> he's going to be one of those first small staters by the end of the year. Almost sure of it. And um, another an another game in 6A that kind of caught our minds was the Grants Pass and Sheldon. Uh, Grants Pass coming to the game number seven. Sheldon Irish number three. Grants Pass knocks off the Irish of Eugene. Uh, the final score was 38-34. <laughs> and uh, Zach Cannon for the Caveman, 149 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Unfortunately for Sheldon, their big quarterback, Justin Herbert, went down with a knee injury in the third quarter. The register guards, Ben Shoresman, is reporting that it's pretty bad. He talked to Lane Johnson after the game and said that it was still swollen uh, coming in uh, to Saturday's workout. So, big time loss for Sheldon. And hopefully, uh, Herbert has a speedy recovery and hopefully gets to play this year. But uh, definitely a big loss for the Irish, and they're going to have to scramble to find somebody to play quarterback for him. Yeah, it's a huge bummer for Sheldon. They are playing so well coming off of a win oh, yeah. at Jesuit. But we're going to talk about our top performers from week three of Oregon high school football. And let's start it off with Jesuit running back Chase Morrison. He had 189 yards in five touchdowns in the Crusaders 47 to 14 win against Sunset. And the highlight of the game really was his 95 yard kickoff return for a touchdown in the first quarter. Uh, moving on, Eric Dungy of Lake Ridge, he finished the game with 308 yards passing on 22 of 24 attempts and five touchdowns in the Pacers 57 to 33 win against Camby. He had another at 80 yards rushing and a touchdown on 12 carries. That's a classic Eric Dungy game right there. <laughs> of course. Uh, West Salem's Cade Smith went 12 for 16 passing for 214 yards and four touchdowns. He also rushed eight times for 183 yards in the Titans' 43 to 35 win against Lincoln. What, what can't that kid do? <laughs> I mean, seriously, his older brother uh, played for Wyoming and he was in the Canadian League for a while. He was wildly successful quarterback. I mean, obviously, it's in the genes in the Smith family there because Cade is just—he's been crazy. 700. More than 700 total yards by himself the past two weeks. Just nuts. That's amazing. Well, West Salem did get the win, but the Cardinals had a standout player. Uh, John Duffy rushed for 323 yards and four touchdowns in Lincoln's loss to West good, Salem. Good gravy. <laughs> that is, he's also a Division One lacrosse signee. He's going to go to Loyola University and play lacrosse. Just drop that knowledge on you. Right there. <laughs> Thank you. I've got one more uh, top performer that I'd like to uh, give a shout out to. Hood River Valley quarterback Riley Van Hoos. 
Um, just hang, hang on for this. He threw for 421 yards and two touchdowns, completed 26 of 47 passes, ran the ball 16 times for 123 yards, so that's over 500 yards of total offense, scored four touchdowns on the ground, and his team still lost. Hood River Valley lost to Ridgeview 61-51. to Those are some crazy stats when you lose. <laughs> that is pretty insane. Well, it was a great week of Oregon high school football. We're already looking forward to week four here, and we are announcing our game of the week for week four of Oregon high school football is going to be Park Rose against Sandy. So use the hashtag OMG tweet down. Let us know your thoughts on that game and make sure to go to OregonLive.com throughout the week to see all of our coverage of the game of the week.